Yo, what do you do, guys? It is your boy, Leon Mookie here, back with you with another new part of What If Asta Was Noctis' Reincarnation. This is part six. And in the last part, Asta was just thinking about his time at the village of Silphi when he took care of the rogue mages before Yami wanted to give his payment and also his thanks for given the black bulls that of a star over their negative stars as the short raven net was about to go back to get get some sleep and basically in the afternoon soon vanessa grabs that of the former print the former worldly prince and take him in the well to the the clover kingdom capital however the underbelly of the clover kingdom capital being the black market a way for the members of the Black Bulls to get that of powerful, but also cheap, somewhat pri somewhat non pricey artifacts for their for their duties as magic knights. Given that things in the capital can be quite pricey themselves, with doing so, Noel was able to get a wand. And as for Asta, he and Libe were having that of an internal conversation with one another, as Libe basically gave him the information that. The more swords that he puts in the anti-magic grimoire, the more powerful he becomes. But he has to make sure that there's unique swords that will give him that of the edge in combat. With doing so, Asta begins to look for new swords. However, was unable to find anything that he liked. Until he ran into that of Seiki, who was trying to hit on that of Noel and, and Vanessa. With then humiliating him in two ways. By basically proving that he, that he beat him and that he's actually gotten a lot better than him. Where Seiki is suffering. Not only that, even showed him off by basically stopping a thief taking out of a woman's purse. With then sh showing off even more and then him getting the attention of a certain mysterious mage. So with all that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? After a, after a day of coming back to that of the Clover... Going back to the Black Bulls HQ and hideout, Noelle was getting used to using her new wand as she begins aiming, she begins using that of basic water bullet spells, shooting that of water balls and, and straight water bullets at targets at the training grounds with Asta basically looking over each and every one of her targets. She doesn't hit dead on on e each and every one as she's off for at least a couple of centimeters. But even so, she's she's basically making hits. With having seeing this, Asta couldn't help but think, "Wow, Vanessa was right. That wand that she got from the black market really did help out a lot." But it doesn't seem like she's able to use well that of official attack spells just yet. Let's stay focus when it comes to spells. Let's mainly focus on defense. But when it comes to just basic attacks, she'll be useful in combat as a, as a great support. With Asta couldn't help but smile, looking at Noel, thinking, Huh, I wonder, is this how Galio felt when he was training me? Huh. With Asta basically having memories of his time as Noctis, especially thinking about his personal guard, best friend, and big brother figure. With then getting out of his memories within Noel speaking up. Hey, Asta, I, I did it. I hit each and every one of the targets this time. With then soon, Asta couldn't help but say, yeah, you did, <laughs> nice work. With then walking over to the silver haired Royal with Noel soon saying, so you think I can move on to that of attack spells yet? Saying not a chance in hell. With then just shutting her down just like that saying, what, but why? You saw that I was able to hit each and every one of my targets. I can probably now start. It's still too soon. You just got that just to, just yesterday. Let's still focus on you using defensive spells when you. But when it comes to attack spells, just use basic magic bullets and magic spear and magic water spears instead. Until you're until you fully get a handle of that wand. Don't rush yourself. Got it with then soon. Noel saying, ah, I understand. I won't rush it. With then soon, Asta placing a hand on Noel's shoulder. With then, Noel begin to blush as she has her mouth somewhat gaping open 
but then looking at Asta and and his and that of his blue, his well light blue sapphire eyes, but then saying, "Trust me, you got this. Just take your time. Don't rush things. Trust me. Rushing them does not help a lot. You can make some pretty stupid mistakes, which not just hurt you, but also the people around you as well." With then hearing that words, Noelle's blush soon went down before soon nodding, saying, right, thanks, Asta. With then saying, good, now come on, let's get some break. And honestly, I need some sleep, saying, do you do anything other than sleep? Saying, sure I do. I trained for at least a good hour or so. With then, she's saying, what? And you sleep for literally eight hours a day? Saying, and your point is, with then soon, she's saying, I, and I really do have a crush on this guy, and I just don't, and yet I'm okay with it. With then soon, Noelle sighing, saying, you know what, never mind. As the two walk back into the hideouts, with then soon, Yami saying, ah, you both done? Good news. Got a mission for the two of you. With then soon, Asta saying, oh, come on. Seriously? With then soon, Noel saying, Top, angry that you won't have your precious nap time. As Asta looks at Noel with that of annoyance, saying, Oh, shut up, your highness. With then soon, she blessed, saying, Your, your highness. With then soon, Finral saying, Uh, hey, not Asta? That's not how you say, well, you, that's not how, well, royal, royal mage families are. With then soon, Asta saying, Huh? They're not, but she says she's a royal, saying, well, technically she is a royal, but they're not, mage royal families are different from that of the actual royal, the royal family here that runs the Clover Kingdom. In fact, royal mages have more self, have more that of control over that of the magics, over that of the, well, magic population here in the Clover Kingdom, while the actual king has more authority over even them. Heck, the Wizard King has more authority even that of the royal family. In a way, the magic royal families here in the Clover Kingdom are more just that of higher rank nobles, if that makes any sense. With then soon Asta coming down to the realization saying, so you're basically not really a true royal, but just an overglorified noble that has the title of royal, but not the perks of it. After calling her out, Noelle basically having that a full on red cheeks on her face, with then saying, shut up, dorksta. It's more complicated than you think. With then saying, well, that's royalty and nobility for you, so of course it's complicated. And it's things I don't want to get involved with. With then soon, Yami getting annoyed as he soon unleashes a bit of his dark magic and his killing intent at the two before saying, are you two done? With Noel began shaking and Asta not even... Well, phased by it because he's felt killing intent before, and this is basically average killing intent. With it saying, yeah, yeah, you can go on, Captain. With then soon, Nami seeing that he's not affecting Asta, with then saying, ugh. Seriously, kid, what the hell did you face against and not flinch after that? Saying, within Asta remembering his time as Noctis once again, and remembering all of the foes he's faced, from the Astrals to Arden, to all of the beasts, monsters, and even, well, his own death. With then saying, it's complicated. So, the mission? With then soon, Yami's saying, right, right, right. Well, you see, you got, it's a mission directly coming from the Wizard King himself. With then hearing that, those of the Black Bulls couldn't help but, well, drop their jaws and that of shocked. Even those who weren't really that if interested, like that of Gosh and Gray and Charmy, couldn't help but be shocked at hearing that too. With then Sue, Asta saying, the Wizard King himself? What? Why would he ask for us personally? With then Yami couldn't help but smirk while puffing out a little bit of smoke from his cigarette. With then, as he has that of an inside joke that he's not going to share, saying, it takes something to get the Wizard King's attention, kid. Just to let you know, as for this, this is a direct order from him himself, if he's asking. Relaying the orders, he wants us to investigate that of the Clover, 
the clo- uh, dungeon in the in between that to the border in the borders of the Clover Kingdom and the Diamond Kingdom. Within hearing that, I was saying a dungeon just brought just basically sprout out in that of the well between between the borders of both kingdoms. If that means within soon, you know what I'm saying? Yep, most likely you're going to be facing a set of Diamond Kingdom mage. And given our relationship with the Diamond Kingdom is not that, well, healthy, within then Asta couldn't help but speak up saying, so most likely we're going to be facing against that of enemy forces, and they're going to be hostile 100%. With then Yami saying, most likely, with then hearing this saying, all right, guess we better get ready. You're coming with us, right, Captain? With then Yami saying, what? Hell no. With then soon Asta's eyes widening in shock, saying, "What? You're our captain, and this and you did say this was coming directly from that of the Wizard King. Shouldn't you take this order yourself?" Saying, "I would love to. Well, not really. I would love to, and not. But actually, it, the message also specifically asked for you to investigate him as well. So I'm also bring." And since Noelle also needs some experience as well alongside you, I'm take she will tag along with then say, so just the two of us. Who knows we might face against an entire squad of magic knights from the Diamond Kingdom. With then as soon Libe saying, Why are you scared? You can handle them yourself, saying, Well yeah, but I don't want them thinking that I can. I I know I'm powerful, especially with the power of the kings, but still I don't want everybody to think that I'm just some monster with overwhelming power. With then soon Libe saying, but you are, saying, oh, shut up, you damn demon. With then Yami saying, good point. Well, there are a few of us that have experience in dungeons. So with then saying, yo, luck. With then seeing that to the blonde hair lightning magic user, he's seen saying, yes, Captain Yami, is it fight time? Saying, no, I got a mission, I got a job for you. You're going to be going with these two to that of a ma- set up a dungeon. Make sure to keep them out of trouble and make and keep them safe. Got it, luck. Saying, okay, sir, but if I come back, do I get a chance to fight? Fight you at least? With then saying, sure, whatever. With then, luck couldn't help but squealing out of giddiness. With then, Sue, also saying, um, Captain Yami? With then soon saying, what is it, squirt? Saying, I'm not that short, damn it. Putting that annoyance on the side saying, what? Why well, ask for luck? With then soon saying, he's, like I said, he's got experience with dungeons. So, he, I mean, don't get me wrong. Each dungeon is different, but he'll be useful for you guys. So, get going. With then soon, Asa couldn't help but get annoyed saying, that wasn't an explanation. Just because he has experience, it doesn't mean that. With then soon, Noel saying, I think it's just best to get this over with, Asta. Now come on. With then soon, Asta cut up at side saying, Yeah, yeah. With then, the three began to leave as Luck has that out of a pep in his step. With then soon, both Magna and Fineral look at their captain. With then, Fineral saying, You really sure about letting Luck tag along with those two? With then soon, Yami puffing another smoke from a cigarette before it fully dies out, and he extinguished it in his ashtray, saying, "Oh yeah, the kid's got a lot of skills and abilities as well. It's also given his ability to sense magic, he'll be useful to help them out in traps." With then soon, Magnus saying, "True, but there's only one downside about that, Captain. That you- Luck is a basically a battle-hungry maniac." And in case that you re- you just remember you saying, Diamond Kingdom mages are gonna be there. I give them at least I give the, those two that of five, basically five minutes before Luck basically ditches them in the dungeon, and they're, and they're gonna be left to fend for themselves. He's done it before. Why wouldn't he not do it again? With then soon, everybody else except that of Gosh and Charmy couldn't help but agree. Within Gordon saying, you know, Captain, I have experience with that of dungeons. You could have asked me to tag along. However, he mut- 
he basically whispers and mutters this himself with nobody be able to hear the kind-hearted, well, poison magic user. With Inyami saying, just shut it, you guys. And besides, like I said, I believe the kid, that kid, Asta, he's got this. After all, what you said in your report, Yami, he took care of the mages pretty easily without even breaking a sweat. Even beat that of a guy that's a noble. And you know how nobles have high amounts of magic after all. With then hearing that from their captain. With then soon both Finral and Magna look at each other while still feeling somewhat nervous. However, Yom Magna on the other hand tr trusts the words of his captain even though he doesn't really, well, trust Luck that much. Couple hours later, Asta, Noel, and Luck finally reach that to the border of that of the Clover Kingdom and Di Diamond Kingdom, where they soon see that of a massive complex in the back and that's of the distance. As currently they're flying on their brooms with Asta basically taking a ride on that of Noel, with then as Luck is on his own broom, with then soon Noel Asta saying, huh, looks like we finally made it. With then Noel saying, the place is huge. And they really want us to explore that place? With then Luck having that of anticipation and giddiness, saying, this is gonna be so much fun. With Asta looking back at Luck saying, why do I feel like this guy is not gonna be much help? But even so, he's our teammate and senior. So we gotta at least trust him in some ways. With then soon arriving to that arriving to that of the dungeon, wondering on if there's any way to get inside. With then soon seeing that of a pat seeing that of a somewhat brick brick like wall. However, it almost seems like there's a gap in between it. With then seeing the opportunity, Asta brings out his demon slayer sword and then soon slams the slams that of the tip the tip end of the blade into the wall as then it shatters entirely with soon placing the placing that of the guard and hilt on his shoulders saying huh figures as much dungeon secret entrances only makes sense with then soon entering the well catacombs with then realizing look damn looks like there's already quite a bit of people here several it seems however not just that, but it seems like there are possibly magical creatures in this place too. Ugh. Well, what the hell ever. I think, I think as long as we got the three of us here, we should be able to handle this and whoever comes our way. Hopefully. With then soon placing the sword back into the grimoire. Within the three look going through. As then, but... Luck and Luck begins using his electrification magic to light the way. Within Asta doing the same with his as well as he absorbed at least a bit of Luck's magic. Within soon Luck seeing this saying, "Hey Asta, I didn't, I didn't know you could use lightning magic too." With then soon Asta saying, "Huh? Oh right, right. Yeah, I can, but it's not in the same way that any people can use magic." With then soon Noel saying, "I got to ask." Your magic. You never really explain it or how you're able to do it. Like, for first off, you have that of a grimoire that has basic that has swords that have that radiate no form of magic whatsoever. However, they're able to nullify or deflect magic as well. Let's also bring in the fact that you also have these weird magic swords and weapons that no that I have never seen or anyone else have seen all across the world as well. That's pretty unique, even for you. And now we find out that you're able to absorb other forms of magic as well? Tell me, Asta, just what are you, or who are you, really? As she says the last thing quietly to herself. With then soon, Asta saying, well, it's pretty simple, actually. As she stops right in front of him. With then soon, and taking that of a quick and pretty funny pose, saying, I am a hero after all as he says as he has both of his hand both his hands curled up into fist onto his sides with then soon both of them couldn't help but basically deadpan with luck still having his trademark smile 
However, you can basically see the confusion on his face with Noelle having that an annoyed face with her, with her eyes narrowing a bit saying, seriously, that's what you're going to give us? Saying, look, it's complicated. My magic is different from it from you guys. It's because it's unique in its own way. Until the day, until the day I'm ready to tell you guys, I will just be patient with then soon saying <laughs> patience. I remember a lot of people telling me those words. Hell, I even remember a lot of people telling me I should hurry my ass up too. <sighs> Instead, I should just focus on being me. I shouldn't move fast and I shouldn't move slow. That's just how a king should be. They need to act and they need to be patient. That's just how it is. After getting out of his thoughts, he continues moving forward while still channeling a bit of lightning magic through his palms. With then soon, they reach out of a dead end. With then soon, luck could help but say, are you sure about that? With then, he begins to channel lightning through his butt, through his palms. With then soon, Asta saying, ah, Noel, get down! With then, without warning, no, Asta basically tackles her down when Luck basically struts through the wall as soon light begins to appear. But then soon, Noelle begins to blush deeply saying, What What are you doing, dorksta? But then saying, Yeah, saved your life from the psychopath that literally about to shock you. With then soon, Luck saying, Hey, come on, guys. Look at this. With then soon, Luck, they finally arrive. But then Noelle saying, Ugh. Such a jerk. Why the hell did Captain Yami allow us in here? With him, of all the, of all people. With then, us saying, I think I know the reason why. With then, soon, us, as they soon arrived, all of them couldn't help but be shocked and surprised, gawking at the area that they're in. With then, so, as they begin to feel the magic flowing all around them, even Asta begins to feel the magic too as it's basically raiding off this entire dungeon. But then Noel saying, this is amazing. It feels like I'm in that of a wholly different world, a world completely composed of magic. With then suit, Luck couldn't help but speak up saying, amazing, isn't it, right? After all, this is how the world is, this is how being in a dungeon feels like. If ma magic basically radiates off of everything and everyone, and every living thing here with then Sue saying, and we got company as well. With soon us saying, thought so. Seems like Diamond Kingdom mages are already here, so we need to, with then, without warning, Luck basically act has that of uses his grimoire saying, Lightning creation magic, lightning boots. With then Sue. He begins to create that of lightning, lightning look sized boots around his around his feet. With then soon in that of a dash, he basically jumps from platform to platform before disappearing before their eyes. Within the well, saying, "Hey, what the hell? What are you doing? Look, come back!" With then soon, Asa can help but sigh, saying, "Yep, that's the reason." With then saying. What re- so, what was the reason? With then saying, he has the ability to sense people's magic and power. With then saying, what? Sensitivity magic. Base, it's rare, actually, if I recall. I looked it up in a book when I was doing a little bit of reading in the library. People who are able to sense magic are able to sense that of certain people around them. If they have higher forms of magic and higher levels of magic. It's kind of rare. It's supposed to be rare, but... To be honest, even I'm able to sense magic too. And I already knew that Di Diamond Kingdom mages were here before, well, we even came in here. With then Sue. Noel saying, seriously? You knew and why didn't you say anything? With then Sue. Luck, he points at where Luck was once at. What with then she saying, oh, right, right. That's the reason. Ah, damn it. So what are we going to do now? With then soon, Asa saying, well, first, we got with then, as he takes one step, he soon looks down and, and begins to sense magic basically gathering around his foot, with realizing, 
oh shit, with then he dodge out of the way as then something begins to materialize under the floor as it looks like that of a giant frog with then soon Noel saying, what the? With then realizing, shit, I'm guessing that there are magic traps here. With then soon Noel saying, you think? Raising up her gr- as her grimoire begins to float right beside her and she brings out her wand and Asta Crystal materialized one of his basic swords, not one of his royal arms, with as it just being that of a regular, a regular broadsword. With then the frog begins to extend its tongue, as Asta was about to cut it off before then being bl- it, be, it was soon blasted by that of wind. With then soon Asta felt actually recognizes this wind magic. With then soon couldn't help but smirk, saying. Always showing up when you don't really need to be, don't you? You love doing that, don't you? You know, with then looking back, with soon seeing a certain re- familiar raven hair, golden eye, and black, and black, well, long shirt wearing t- teenager being his foster brother, you know, with it seems that with other, with two other people as well, within, you know, Going from his neutral expression, having that of a look of look of happiness, joy, and smile, and well, reassurance as well. However, you couldn't tell that from just the basic smile on his face. With then saying, Asta, it's good to see you again. With then soon demacrystallizing his sword, with then saying, Yeah, same to you, you know. With then soon, a guy with that of glasses. Also having that of blue hair and he wears that of the robe of the golden dawn, the same as you know, saying, you know, who who is this? And how are you familiar with him? With then soon, you know, saying, uh, well, you see, this is Asta. He's from Hodge Village as me. We come from the same orphanage. With then soon Asta saying, Huh, I'm guessing these are your fellow Golden Dawn members? With then soon. Noel couldn't help but be shocked and surprised with then soon Asta seeing the saying, hey, well, what's up? With then she looking as she looking at the third person with, you know, and the other guy as it being a girl, as she has that of a, well, somewhat cheerful expression on her face with that of, well, bur- orange red hair with as it goes down to her, goes down to her neck. With her having that of somewhat of attire as that of a noble, but more casual in a way. Within Noel saying, Mimosa, it's so good to see you again after all these years. With then the girl known as Mimosa saying, Ah, Noel, it's good to see you too, cousin. With then soon, I saying, Wait, hold up, she's your cousin? With then soon, Noel saying, Yeah. With then Noel saying, so you became a magic knight? I'm quite surprised, to be honest. You did seem quite airheadish, to be honest. With then Mimosa not saying anything while still having a smile saying, I guess so. I'm still surprised that you even became a magic knight as well, given your, well, you know, condition. With then soon Noel begins to flinch with then saying, not even. Still smiling, even after still aware of your own your own condition. Damn airhead. With then soon, the guy with that of glasses saying, "Mimosa, Noel, we sh- we shouldn't have time to be wasting with this rabble. We need to get going and g- get through the dungeon." With then soon, no Asta saying, "Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. You guys are here for the dungeon as well." With then you know saying, "Yes, we were called." by our captain, or rather by the magic, by the wizard king himself, to look through that of, to go through that of the dungeon, with then saying, huh, well ain't that a coincidence. The wizard king himself also asked for us to look through this dungeon as well. With then soon, the guy couldn't say, huh, ridiculous. The, the wizard king would never waste his time with, a, with that of a bottom tier magic knight squad known as the Black Bulls. With then soon, I was saying, uh, I'm guessing you're one of those people who really hate the Black Bulls. I'm guessing. 
Uh, can I ask your name by any chance? With Ben soon him adjusting his glasses before scoffing, saying, Well, of course you should know the name of your betters. Before adjusting his glasses, once again, before saying, My name is Klaus. I am a second low rank magic knight. With then soon saying, Huh, it's good to meet you then. I hope my, I hope Yuno hasn't caused you any trouble. With then soon, uh, Klaus saying, Well, you see, with then soon, Yuno saying, I haven't caused any trouble. I figured that you would be the one causing more trouble for your squad, given your, well, condition of sleeping all the, all the time and being lazy. With then soon saying, Hey, it is perfectly normal to be sleeping anytime you can when you're not doing anything important. With then soon, Noel saying, you sleep basically longer than anyone else in the Magi in the, in the Magi squad. The only time when you not is either when you're helping me or when you're hungry. With then saying, and your point is? With then soon, Klaus saying, Ugh, I expect no less from a black bull being lazy and useless after all. With then soon, you, Asta saying, you want to say that again? Pretty boy, with then soon Klaus saying, I'm telling you that the that we don't need any help from the black bulls. We'll handle this mission ourselves and you can leave now. With then saying, Hold up, we got it. We had an order to explore this dungeon. Not only that, we also have our own comrade here that just well left that also left as well. With then soon, no, my most saying, You had a second, you had another comrade here. Did what happened to them? Within Klaus saying, most likely he ran, he ran off and let and basically left you all behind. Shame we didn't see him on our way out. Within saying, within Noel saying, he went deeper into the dungeon. Basically, Asta said that there are already members of the Diamond Kingdom mage, mages here. So I'm guessing Luck probably already went off to, went off to face them. So, with then Klaus saying, Luck. Are you saying luck the smiling berserker? With then soon, Asta saying, "Wow, luck has a title himself, and it's smiling berserker. Why the hell does that fit way too well for a guy like him?" With Klaus basically completely shocked hearing that luck the smiling berserker of the Black Bulls is here, with realizing, uh, if that's the case, then he'll take care of the mages for himself and led us in leading us to that of the king. Leading us back to the center of the dungeon. With if that, then we need to get going. You know, Mimosa. With then soon, Mimosa saying yes, Klaus. As she soon brings out her grimoire, saying, "Flower magic, gardening map." With then she creates that of multiple flowers. However, the pol the fl the pollen that expressed in the flowers begin to are that's a pure concentrated ma ma mana. With then soon, it begins to materialize that of a detailed layout of the dungeon. With then soon, Klaus saying, "Night now. This is this is interesting. If if we follow this path, we should be able to reach that of the center of the dungeon quicker." With then soon, Asta saying, "Hold up. We still need to look for luck, and he's facing against that of Diamond Kingdom mages." If we look for him, we'll be able to reach the reach out of the center as soon as possible. With then Klaus saying, I have no need to be wasting my time on that of finding of finding a member of the Black Bulls. We have a duty and a job to do as well. And I refuse to have me and my squad basically waste time looking for somebody like that of luck. With then soon. Noel saying, Hold on, are you serious? Then if that's the case, then take us with you. With then soon. You know, saying maybe that would be within cutting off. You know, saying out of the question, I refuse to basically associate myself with any of you Black Bull members as well. Do, like I said, do us a favor and head back to the Clover Kingdom while we finish this job. With then soon, Asta saying, "Are you seriously about to abandon us? We are on the same side. We are we're base we're citizens and mag and mages of the ma of the Clover Kingdom." Do you, just because we're on different squads doesn't change anything, dumbass. With then soon, Klaus couldn't help but be shocked, saying, calling me such a vulgar word. 
just as what I expect from a black bull. You know, with then soon, you know, couldn't help but sigh. And with then saying, sorry, Asta, but we got a job to do as well. If you would like, how about we turn this into a race? With then soon, using his wind magic, he creates that of a, of a, of a tornado platform for the three of them. With then sued, Asta saying, you're seriously making this a competition? With then saying, yes, yes, I am. With then suit saying, all right, you asshole, just you watch. I'm going to, we're going to find luck and then catch up with you, you dumbass. With then soon, you, you know, saying, I would love to see that. With then the three Golden Dawn members soon walk, basically fly past them, glow, heading deeper and deeper into the dungeon. With then soon, Asta could help but say, Ugh, this is so annoying. First luck and now had to deal with Golden Dawn assholes. And one of the, and, and they have to be, you know, of all people. With then Noel saying, hey, what's your relationship with that guy, Asta? With then Asta saying, huh? Oh, right. He's my foster brother. With then hearing this saying, what? But you, we don't look, we look somewhat alike. The only difference is that our eyes and that he's a lot more supposedly handsomer than me. With then soon, Noel saying, that's debatable. I say you're more good looking. With then, you, Asta her, heard this, but basically bothered saying, huh? What did you say? With her blush is saying, never mind. Let's just get this over with. With then saying, like I said, we need to find luck first. Then we go after those, go those golden dawn assholes. Well, besides the girl, she seems pretty nice, actually. With... Then soon, Noel getting annoyed, saying she's more annoying and an idiot than anything. With then soon saying, ah, so you have one of those two. With then soon, Noel saying, what do you mean? With then saying, never mind. Come on, let's go and find luck. But before that, with then soon, taking a deep breath, before saying, hey, Libe. With then saying, what? Is it possible for me, to, is, it, is there any way for me to get through this place without breaking a sweat? With then Libe saying, Ugh, well, there is one way. However, you gotta have to figure it out yourself. Bring out one of the, bring out one of the swords. Most definitely the Demon Slayer sword. With then soon, bringing out his grimoire as it soon begins to float and the pages open up. The Demon Slayer sword hilt basically pops out within the massive blade. Within soon, saying, "Now what?" With then Libe saying, "Throw it, focus and focus anti anti magic through the blade." With then soon doing so, anti magic begins to flow through the blade. Before then saying, "Now toss it up into the air." With then saying, "What? Just do it." With then do, soon doing so, Asta throws the massive great sword into the air. With then Noel noticing this, saying, "What the what the hell are you doing?" Before Asta could explain, then Noel noticing, "Uh, Asta, how did you do that?" With then saying, "Do what?" As she soon points at the Demon Slayer sword as it begins to float in the air. With then Asta saying, "It's floating." I haven't used any of my, I haven't used the power of the kings on it. So how is that? With then, Libe having that of a feral grin as he still as he soon pops up in his little demon form, his little chibi demon form in front of Asta, saying, "This is the power of anti magic. It's absolutely limitless." To be fair, currently you used a bit of your own life force flowing through anti magic through the blade. Doing so. You have that of a telekinetic link to it. Basically, it's able to fly with, on its own without even breaking a sweat. And you don't have to do anything. So it's basically the same way on how I use my royal arms. Huh. Well, instead of them being in crystal form, it's fully materialized. With then suit saying, yeah, in a way. So, now you got a way to move around this place without even breaking a sweat. With then, Asta can up and say, huh. You know, I always did want to get into skateboarding back in my old life. However, 
but flying hoverboarding is a lot more easier. And I have, and to be honest, since I don't have a broom, and since I can't use magic to fly with a broom, this should be a lot more easier and fun with then soon. Having a link to the sword, it soon comes down to Asta before then soon. Grabbing Noelle by her arm saying, wait, what are you? Before then getting onto the sword, onto that, to the flat end of the sword and then carrying Noelle as she begins blushing like crazy saying, what are you, what are you doing? You damn dork, stop, put me down. Saying, sorry, we need to find luck quick, quick as possible. And we need to show, show up those damn Golden Dawn idiots, especially that, that dumbass brother of mine, you know, as well. So Noelle, hold on tight. I, I don't, I'm, I'm actually new at this at first. So be prepared for a lot of crash and burns with then Sue Noelle saying, wait, what do you mean by crash and burns? With then, well, she could finish and screaming it out soon. Asta and Noelle on that to the Demon Slayer sword began to float down through the depths of the dungeon. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Love to read them. So, how did you guys like this? Sure, this wasn't an action-packed chapter, but it's in getting ready for that of the Hidden Dungeon arc after all. And in this arc, it's going to be completely different from it was in canon. Now that Asta slash Noctis has a better connection with Li Bei, he's now he has that of more at more access to that of the anti magic through the grimoire. To be honest, so yeah. Not only that, since Asta, since well Asta has that of Noctis's personality being his reincarnation. After all, he's not going to be hot headed and crazy to basically try and beat try and beat that of Klaus and you know to the center of the dungeon. He's going to be more worried about luck, after all, given that this is still Noctis, who sees basically his com who sees his comrades as that of his subjects, as that of his friends and family, after all. The duties of a king, to be fair, are his people and his soldiers. So, yeah, he's going to be focusing more on trying to find luck more than trying to win a freaking bet with you know. And just to prove that he's going to be better to reach the level of Wizard King. And since, uh, and since Asta doesn't want to be Wizard King in this what if, it only makes sense. That he's not going to be all, well, comp trying to compensate for everybody and all that. So yeah. any rate, if you guys like this, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification to keep to date my videos when I upload on the channel. Also, check out my Discord, gaming channel, side channel, and Patreon. I'll link in the description below. So, with all that said, this is Leo Moki signing out. Later, guys, and take care. Shiro Kitsune, you know what to do. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you liked Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist if you still haven't subscribed do so in the center with that said i hope to see you again on my love's channel bye <laughs>